Today, we are living in a world and we are living in a society where competition has become fierce amongst people from all walks of life. This dunya today, my brothers and sisters, is something which is based upon competition in everything. We find people competing in every single thing in their lives. People. Deep in competing for worldly affairs. Indulging in competition over worldly things which will soon come to an end. Nothing of this dunya which is being compared for will last. Not only is it a waste of time, my brothers and sisters, but this competition that people indulge themselves in could be a reason for that person entering your fire. Our competition over this dunya, our competition over this world, not only is it a waste of time, it can also be a reason for people entering hellfire, being prevented from entering paradise. Something people do not understand. Something people are not realizing. What an honor to make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear respected brothers, this is the month, wallahi, yani, dhikr, dhikr, dhikr. So many authentic ahadith. لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير. Whoever says this 100 times, 100 times is rewarded, is rewarded as if he freed 10 slaves, and 100 hasanat and 100 sayyat are taken away from him, and he is protected from shaitan until the evening. And nobody on that day, nobody on the face of the planet is better than him, except he who says it more. Except he who says it more. Imagine you got 10 bucks, man. 10 bucks for every time you said SubhanAllah. Wallah, you'd be a madman. Brother, what's wrong? Wallah, he won't answer. There's 10 bucks coming in. Wallah, he won't answer. 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 Wallah, and Wallahi, don't be shy, man. Go to the bookstore, grab you know, the fortress of the Muslim. They have afkar for everything. Af yani afkar for everything. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. Make salat ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Be busy, man. You're on the train. I'm going to work. I'm in my car. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something that sort of I can't really do anything. Make it. You don't even have to be in wudu. Make the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Clock up the figures. And set yourself goals. Set yourself goals, you know. Make istighfar. Make istighfar. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, minimum, minimum, in one hadith it says 70, the other one says 100. These figures were to say that a lot. Seeking forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He did not create the heavens and the earth. He did not create the heavens and the earth for the purpose of this. Allah Azza wa Jal did not bring you as a human into existence in order to compete over this filthy dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create the entire universe. He did not create everything that you see in order for you to use it as a tool to compete for this world. Allah Azza wa Jal is much greater than this. Allah is high above this to create us for such a foolish purpose in order to compete over this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on the contrary, He teaches us how worthless this dunya is. This dunya that people indulge themselves in. Spend their day and night 
campaigning for it. Allah Azza wa Jal, He teaches us what this dunya that people are campaigning for is worth in His eyes. When the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He said, He said, if this dunya was equivalent to the wing of a mosquito, not even an entire mosquito. The wing of a mosquito, if this dunya was equivalent in the eyes of Allah, the Almighty, to the wing of a mosquito, He would not have given a kafir, a disbeliever, a drink of water. That's how worthless this dunya is in the eyes of Allah. That's how worthless this dunya is in the heart of the believer. The believer does not spend their day and night, my brothers and sisters, stressing, competing in order to gain them. This dunya, my brothers and sisters, look what it means in the eyes of Allah. Wallahi, this is something amazing. It is not even worth the wing of a mosquito. And people ask, Why does Allah give kuffar and He doesn't give Muslims? Why does Allah do this and He doesn't do that? People questioning Allah. You want to know the answer? Because this dunya means nothing to Allah It's worthless. Allah does not care about 